Well, Eagles fans getting ready for tonight's game, holding watch parties all across the triangle. But there's one game that no one saw or even heard about when it happened. CBS 17's Derek Lewis is live in Durham with more on this secret game. Derek. Marius and Angela, you couldn't imagine this scene 75 years ago. Beers, television screens, and fans preparing for a big game. But a historian tells me that 75 years ago, that happened when NCCU and Duke played each other, and the only ones there were the players and the coaches. Sunday, March 12, 1944. The secret game, North Carolina Central against Duke. That was one of the quietest kept games ever uh, ever to be played that no one knew, knew about or talked about. Andre Van is a historian at NCCU. 75 years ago, during the Jim Crow era, African Americans and white people could not play together. That's why players, coaches, and even a reporter kept it a secret. Durham was this model um, community of race relations, but yet Durham was still just like everywhere else in the United States of America. Van tells me Duke players drove to NCCU and played here, currently the Student Services Building. The game started around 11 that Sunday morning, while most people were at church, including police officers. There were um, conversations being held about um, who had the greatest team, and that's how the challenge kind of started. NCCU won the game. Now the two teams could be meeting up again as part of the NCAA tournament. It's um, probably one of the most electrifying uh, moments I think in the history of not just this university and Duke University, but also this city and this state. Now, if NCCU wins tonight's game, they will play Duke this Friday, once a secret game that now the two teams will, will play in public. Live in Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS 17 News.